Welcome TDC viewers. In this video, I will be electro-depositing lead dioxide onto graphite under the influence of hexadecal trimethyl ammonium bromide, CTAB, a cationic surfactant. It has been found that the addition of a surfactant gives a smooth and adherent deposit, free from pinholes under stationary conditions. To start, measure out 35 grams of lead nitrate and 2.5 grams of copper nitrate. Next, we will be adding the surfactant. Measure out 50 milligrams of CTAB and add the chemicals together into a 100 ml beaker. To the mixture, add about 50 ml of milky water and stir. Next, turn the hot plate on. Note, it will take a while for the chemicals to dissolve, so add another 50 ml of milky water and a stir bar in the beaker. The CTAB will take longer to dissolve. As the temperature increases, the CTAB will eventually all dissolve and you'll be left with a clear blue solution. After that, we connect the usual electrodes in place to the electrochemical potentiostat along with the electrode deposition parameters, just like in the previous videos. Keeping the temperature of the bath constant at 60 degrees Celsius, start the electrode deposition. As you can see on the graphite electrode, there are bubbles coming off it. This is expected to happen as the CTAP doesn't allow the bubbles to cling on to the graphite electrode. There are clear evidence that cationic surface active agents absorb at both the anode surface and the walls of oxygen bubbles. It is crucial to have the bath temperature over 60 degrees Celsius and the amount of CTAB added kept minimum. It has been reported that other surfactants, for example dodecyl trimethyl ammonium bromide, were exceptional to the deposition of smooth and adherent lead dioxide deposits. After the completion of the deposition, remove all of the electrodes and rinse with milky water and dry. As it can be seen, the lead dioxide deposit is very adherent and fine-grained. Some parts of the electrode seem to be rough, however, this wouldn't be detrimental to the anode's performance in various electrolytic preparations such as chlorates and perchlorates. There we have it TDC viewers, we have successfully deposited lead dioxide onto graphite under the influence of a cationic factor under stationary conditions.